Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to a new extension called DSP Extension 1 inside Drumbo from Beep Street. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the instruction contained in the video description. Thank you again. So we are inside Drumbo standalone version. If you don't know how to reach for the shop click here up here on the uh, hamburger menu then click on shop and there is where you can find the extension perfect so let's click on the plus sign and let's go under generator because the extension add a wave scanner which you can find here let's load it up but it also add uh, and the processor if you scroll down an effect called the bbd BBD Resonator. We're going to cover the BBD Resonator in one of the next tutorials. So for this video, we are going to cover the Waste Scanner. If you load under Generator, you scroll down and you find the Flexi Sampler, you will find that the Flexi Sampler in the area of loading and recording is exactly the same as the UI of the Waste Scanner. So indeed, if you click on the recording as well, here yeah, you have access to, the, to record the module input, the external input source, and you have a sync to instant clip threshold. Um, you can clear and remove the recording. You can start the recording itself. So the same controls as the Flexi sampler for this particular area. So I'm not going to cover them as I already covered them inside uh, um, the Flexi sampler tutorial. Now you can load something which you can use to um, scan over that waveform. And you can load the sample. You can load a web table. And you can, of course, import it, etc., etc. But what I'm going to do this time instead is I'm going to do search and I'm going to search for the radio unit uh, audio unit already also produced by Beep Street. Now let's open it up and uh, let's search for something um, like ambient. Why not? And uh, let's, let's test some uh, of the radio stations, see if we can find something that we like. Okay, I just added an um, ADSR so I can stop actually producing that sound because I have an envelope which is acting on the amp. Again, I already explained this module in previous tutorials. And I have clicked here to record the input which was coming from the radio unit and I click on it again to stop the recording. Now, if I press a note... change the pitch of the note which is being played at this position. Now if you click on the waveform you go into your familiar way of editing your waveform where you can load, save, play, record, edit. Again we have seen this option in, in previous tutorials so I recommend that you check previous tutorials for samplers in particular. But for now we click on set slices and we set it to 16 slices of course you can define your own and you can look for in transit etc etc but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use um a different slices and in equal division now let's look at the controls first of all i'm going to put uh, uh, three other voices here you can change the offset here And for your scanning through that uh, waveform, really, really nice. And additionally, of course, you can drive the offset um, using, for example, an LFO. So let's add a modulator. Let's choose a mini LFO, like so. And then let's connect the offset to the mini LFO. Let's give it um, 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 some uh, intensity, of course, click play. And you can see it is moving up here. And um, then we can increase the intensity like so, decrease the frequency, making not bipolar and perhaps a triangle. 
Oops, lower. And you can hear is moving across the different section of uh, the waveform. So that is one way you, that you can use the offset dial. Or of course, you can also use it manually as you prefer. You find you find a peak filter near it, which is really nice. So let's listen. <music> And it does what it says, uh, um, really. It's a pick filter. If you click here and hold, we can check the input. And you can see straight away the effect on the pick filter as the amplitude and the top uh, picks are changing. So that is a really nice feature. Of course, you, you can uh, adjust the tuning here. And semitones, double click, of course, reset the value if you wanted to bring back to the default value. You can adjust also fine tuning in sense. And this might be useful, particularly if you have more than one wave scanner at the same time. Something also that can be um, really nice to do, for example, would be to add uh, a random uh, um, module. Um, like so and then connect that to the um, to the tuning here and then adjust that to perhaps um, we do value of 0 0.25 uh, like so and make it perhaps uh, bipolar let's try it. And of course, we we could remove the LFO. Let's increase this. Let's leave it to one. And if you want to hear a proper effect, just add some notes, the same note. And that's great because you can really uh, now um, hear the random um, effect on the tuning. Of course, let's remove that and um, now let's see what else we can do you have monitor option of course you have stereo on and off as well and then you have slice mode which is really interesting so you can change that to note so that it's really great let's go to the keyboard here let's uh, uh, zoom in start from c2 You can see is moving position on the wave based on the note. See, it's up here, and that is why you have slices. It is why I created slices earlier on. You can change also that to velocity, and if you want to say that in action, let's uh, search something for velocity, like a gate velocity sequencer, like so. Let's increase this tab like so right and um, let's try and you 
can see is moving between the slices based on the velocity, which is defined here on the gate velocity sequencer. And then lastly, you have this random as well um, slice mode, which is really nice. Again, and we don't have anything on the tuning now, nothing on the offset. And um, we have the same note here being played. Let's click play. And you can see that it's changing randomly in the position of the slice that is being played. So I hope you agree with me that this is a fantastic addition uh, to Drumbo. You can do something really, really amazing, particularly if you use more than one wave scanner at the same time which can get really really interesting of course i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always see you next time bye